Don't fool yourself by thinking that you know everything about the Harry Potter series, because this story hides at least three key messages that could help millions of people to heal from a horrible kind of violence, which is bullying. Where is your mum? Where is your mum, Potter? She dead. Let's dive into the healing world of JK, starting from the first key message, which is admitting that you're a victim. Since his earliest days, Harry faced nasty abuse from the Dursleys, and he couldn't do anything about it. But when he saw how the Dursleys treated Dudley, he soon realized that things were unfair, and that he was actually a victim of bullying. Proudest moment of my life. Well, I have to wear that too. What? You go to smeltings. <laughs> Don't be so stupid. Admitting something is always important. It's the first step on the path to recovery and becoming stronger. Unfortunately, Harry never openly confronted the Dursleys in the first chapter. Well, of course, we don't count this famous zoo scene. Mommy! Dad, come here! I can't believe what this snake is doing! <laughs> the scene was a brilliant metaphor of Harry's desire to change things and to stop being a victim. However, the actual changes in his behavior happened a bit later in the story. When Harry was with his friends and met Malfoy for the first time, he wasn't afraid to confront him. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell the wrong sort for myself, thanks. The question is, why? Why was Harry afraid to confront the Dursleys, but not Malfoy? There's a really nice touch in the story that the guys from the Cinema Therapy channel also noticed. The reason why Harry managed to stand up here is because Malfoy didn't offend Harry, he insulted his friends. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe, you must be a Weasley. And Harry couldn't ignore anyone bullying those he cared about. If you pay attention to the first three movies, you notice that he only stood up to bullies when they offended anyone who he cared about. And he wasn't only brave with his peers. In the second movie, Harry even dared to confront Malfoy's father. And again, that was only because Lucius bullied Harry's two friends, Ginny and Dobby. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do, sir. I think you slipped the diary into Ginny Weasley's cauldron that day at Diagon Alley. You do. Harry also only managed to create his first Patronus spell when he needed to protect Sirius from returning to Azkaban. Expecto Patronum! J.K. Rowling knew that defending your friends is easier than defending yourself. That's because deep inside, all people want to be protected by others, and so by helping their friends, they expect to be helped back in return. That's a universal rule of mutual support. The next message about bullying that's hidden in Harry Potter is about the importance of not reacting. Take Luna Lovegood, for example. She's the best example of what we're trying to say. Luna literally lived in her own fantasy world, and we have no doubt that she used her dreaminess as a defense against the bullies. Kids called her loony and stole her possessions in order to make fun of her, but Luna didn't really seem to worry about it. That's all right. Anyway, my mom always said, things we lose have a way of coming back to us in the end. She never really played the bully's games, and to some degree or another, there's something brilliant about these tactics. Because all bullies want their victims to react. They want their victims to play the game they created, and if they press a button and their victim doesn't react, there's no point in bullying, right? We love Luna for always staying true to herself. However, ignoring others and living in an imaginary world doesn't always help you to stop the aggressor, especially if the bullies are super evil and smart, like Snape or Voldemort. You can't just ignore these guys, right? And then there are also those bullies that pretend not to be bullies, who hide their evil behind masks of sweetness and kindness. Yes, we're talking about Dolores Umbridge. Because you know, deep down, you deserve to be punished. Of course, Luna's inner world won't help her survive this lady. In both the books and movies, Harry and his friends stood up against Umbridge, which luckily ended in their favor. What? Do something! Tell them I mean no harm! Sorry, Professor. I must not tell lies. But the third key message that we want to talk about has nothing to do with fighting. It's about something even deeper and wiser. The true beauty of JK's books is not when her characters learn to fight back against bullies and enemies, but when they learn to feel compassion for them. Now, psychologically, it's crucial to understand the reason for a bully's messed up behavior. Because every bully in the world is a human being, and sadly, they have reasons for behaving like that. Understanding them will give you the power to feel sorry for them. Just like Petunia Dursley. Yes, she hated her sister and Harry, but she had a reason for that. You'll not be going. 
But I suppose a great muggle like yourself's going to stop him, are you? As a child, Petunia felt miserable, being the non-magical sister of Harry's talented mother. Petunia didn't feel like she was loved enough for who she was, so she raised her own son Dudley as a spoiled, jealous goofball. How many are there? Thirty-six. Counted them myself. Thirty-six! But last year, last year I had thirty-seven! Being raised in such conditions, Dudley chose a bullying strategy against Harry because he copied his mother and father's behavior. By devaluing the boy who lived, the Dursleys created value for themselves. This is a classic example of what drives most bullies and abusers, the feeling that they are unimportant. Despite the Dursleys' abusive behavior, Harry could still feel compassion for Dudley and even saved him from the Dementor. Later, there was a beautiful moment between Harry and Dudley in a deleted scene from the Deathly Hallows. In the scene, Dudley approached Harry and said, I don't think you're a waste of space. Which is actually priceless. We don't understand why they cut Dudley's redemption arc from the film. It was such a brilliant touch of a bully changing his attitude to his victim because of Harry's compassion. Throughout the series, Harry learns to feel compassion for most of his bullies. Yes, Harry even felt sorry for Malfoy when he saw how his father treated him. Look closely, son. If we are the ones to hand Potter over to the Dark Lord. He realized that Malfoy grew up to be a bully because he had a horrible, bullying father. Understanding that gave Harry a sense of pity, which helped him to stop hating Malfoy. The same thing happened with another huge bully, Severus Snape. When Harry found out what Snape went through in the past, he felt sorry for him too. And you can see how drastically he changed his mind. He went from hating Snape and wanting him to suffer to naming his son after him. Albus Severus Potter, you were named after two headmasters of Hogwarts. And finally, Harry was wise enough to find compassion for the biggest enemy in the entire franchise, for Voldemort. Perhaps the most powerful line in the story is in the Order of the Phoenix. You're the weak one, and you'll never know love or friendship. And I feel sorry for you. Harry traveled a long path, from admitting he was a victim to being able to feel compassion for his biggest enemy. Despite how brutal Voldemort was, including killing his parents, Harry realized that Tom Riddle became the Dark Lord because there was no love in his life. And that's when we see Harry's biggest triumph. The moment you feel compassion for your tormentor, you rob them of their power to harm you. You become fearless and confident. Don't ignore bullying. Show support to anyone suffering with it. Show support to yourself. Spread awareness about it. And next time, watch a Harry Potter movie with your children, nephews, or younger sisters and brothers to help them get through the difficult moments in their lives. If you're a Harry Potter fan, then check out these videos too. Thanks for staying with us, folks. Take care.